Hey, this is Matt. Once again, we're back to the videos of the paid request. This time for Joseph. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested requesting any type of videos, PayPal is usually the best bet. Or join my Patreon. The links are in the info box, either over here at the bottom or over there on the side, if you wish to. Now, this is for a fan film, a Mad Max fan film called Hope and Glory. It is on YouTube for free. It's about 40 some minutes long, but if you take out the end credits, it's about 30 some minutes long. And it stars a guy named Daniel Grave, I believe, as Max, if I pronounce his name right. I guess this is inspired by the video game, because the video game had characters Hope and Glory. And I think if you... I saw one of the... I've never played the game, I don't have the game. I guess it's on PS4, though. But I guess these characters not only are in it, but some scenes may be replicated from that that's in this. But as for this, premise of the story is that Max is out there in the wasteland. Uh, there's some guys picking on this woman who's chained up. He crashes his car into them, shoots, slices, slams some of them. And not really sure about the girl, but this lady promises I'd give you gasoline if you take me back to my settlement. He does. Then he's tasked with this mission to rescue her daughter named Glory. From this group called the Buzzards. And the head guy of the summon goes, if you get the, the guy of the Buzzards, the leader, get his head and bring him back. Let us know you took care of him. We'll give you all the gasoline you want. He goes on this mission, and then the, the film goes on from there. Now I gotta say, for a fan film, this was pretty good. The acting at times is a bit wanty. Um, there's a few nitpicks I have here and there. Because I never played the video game that it seems like this is inspired, there's questions that arise that I'm still a bit confused by. But, whatever budget they had, this was a very well shot fan film. It had a great scope to it. The desert locations where Max is driving his V8 interceptors, great to see that car again. Uh, and just uh, again, wide space expanse of the desert there's like ships that are just far away from the ocean it's been drifted off and selling in these desert locations these big grand ships the action scenes when they happen they're done practically Max just uses shotgun quite a few times The costumes, uh, some of the makeup or uh, costumes of people on the, the Buzzards clan, that side of the things. Uh, the guy who played Max wasn't too bad. If sometimes his, his narration was a little bit like this, you know. But uh, didn't mind him. Uh, some of the people in the settlement, this one guy in particular, I don't know if he was like the leader or like one of the leaders of the settlement. He was awful. I thought he was like terrible. His dialogue delivery, he felt like uh, trying to be comedic, but he wasn't. And I don't know what his deal was. I forget the guy's name, the actor's name, but again, there's a guy who's like one of the leaders. Like, he's talking like this. I'm like, oh my god. This, <laughs> this, was, this guy was pretty damn bad. And <laughs> shit. But like I said, it did have a feel of what Mad you know, Mad Max should be that desolate wasteland. The way in the way the costumes are, uh, the music was decent enough, and like I said it looked like a actual production. It didn't look like a cheap fan film. Quite the opposite. So again, the the effects they used and the uh, the scope they had was pretty impressive. I, you could tell there was love put into this project. You could tell there was love poured into it. And I'll repeat that word, appreciate. I appreciate that being showcased. There's a few moments that even were not action, but I did enjoy, for example, there's a guy showing match the map. And the bats taste the map. And the guy's like, Why, Don't take my map. What are you doing? Don't take my map. What the fuck? 
and the match throws the map the map at him he's like oh thank you like that little like that guy he's not in it a whole lot but he was pretty decent but again this one guy if you are a strong and beef beef he kept calling the guy beef beef like oh you look pretty strong beef beef like who the hell is this guy what's his major malfunction get him the, this weird ass guy but anyway now they did more in the spoilers there are times where I was a bit confused he has these flashes to people saying to help me I don't know if that's meant to be his wife and kid I'm assuming but I thought it was going to be the, the characters that was in Fury Road But maybe the people thinking about Fear Road or the people in this movie who die. See, I, I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm sure it's not as confusing as I'm making it out to be. But maybe the people who are flashing in his mind is his family is, is thinking about. But it didn't look that way. But maybe I just misconstrued it. Another nitpick is a grand Mad Max films are not known for their blood. I did it. They're not known for big, bloody th hits and moments. They'd be violent, but not necessarily bloody. But I kind of wish it was in this case, because there's a lot of times you shoot with a shotgun, but you never see any blood. And you, you tell people getting hit, and you know, they're flying back, but I wish there was a bit more of that. Uh, to have some blood and gore in there... Again, I know that Bad Match is not really known for that. Because you think of the Road Warrior, you don't really think of gore. You know what I mean? It's a great movie, but you, you don't... So maybe they're trying to fit in that tone. But at the same time, with the quite a few times he uses the double bow shotgun, I wish some of the hits you could see blood squibs. I would like to have seen that. So that, that was always in the back of my mind, a little bit of a nitpick. But I said, I thought the guy they chose looked like a Max. Like, I could see him fit in it. And while his acting isn't perfect, it's more than capable. Especially for a fan film. Freddy rescues the, the girl Glory. Good usage of the shotgun. Uh, you never see him reload, interesting enough. You never see him reload. So I guess the shotgun, I guess he put in the cheat of unlimited ammo. Because you never see him reload it, but it was great to see that used. Sometimes this is simple things. Hey, Max, let me use the damn shotgun. It uses a decent amount. At one point, he fights a chainsaw guy. Uh, before he's able to kill, like, two more people. The choreography, the choreography is okay, but nothing you know of note, chore choreography wise. Uh, I said this is a spoiler, so beware. The little girl does help him kill two others. I appreciate that someone gets set on fire and is done with real stump man, real fires. They didn't invoke a whole lot of like wonky CG in it, which I appreciate. At least not a lot that I noticed automatically like you tell they used as much practical as they could for a low budget which I did I do appreciate that it was disappointing that if you have a if you find a guy with a chainsaw rule of thumb you gotta have your hero get the chainsaw and use it as well that, to me that's that's like a that should be a rule if a guy comes out with a chainsaw sooner or later your hero should get that chainsaw and use it back whether use it back on the villain or a different bad guy. The villain that had the chainsaw or someone else after they got the guy with the chainsaw. The, again, that's just the fact that like Max never uses a chainsaw. I thought that was disappointing. Does break the guy's neck, which is decent. But again, let him use the chainsaw. Come on. Even Arnold in The Running Man. That's right, you keep it, you know, and... Uses the chainsaw back on the guy. <laughs> Overpowers him. 
was like, come on now. So he brings the girl back, decides not to stay, he thinks about it, there's some trouble, goes back, and then most of the people are dead because the buzzers, I just, I just came with reinforce, reinforcements and took care of everything. Suparmi so goes, well damn, that was all, that rescue was pointless. And I think this is something they redid from the video game, because I looked up a cinematic of the video game, and there was a bit with one of the characters are dying, and one of them is Hun, from the, the rafters or whatever. Although I'm trying to think of the game, I think it was the, the mom dying and the daughter Hun, but here is the mom Hun and the daughter dying in this fan film. I think they're switched. Don't quote me on that, because again, I never played the game. But it seems like, okay, they were inspired by the video game, so they wanted to do this. I didn't, this, uh, it's a very good-looking movie. For, especially for a fan film. Good-looking shots when he gets his V interceptor and he's getting it ready. And there's shots where the camera is focusing on him. And there's shots of the car and there's shots of him just determined and angry and ready to kick some ass and take some names chases his shoots the guy car crashes beats this guy to death and i guess that's really the point i said pointless but they literally tell you the point at the end of the the film could have stayed but all i got was a full tank more pain and madness is here in a world, a world gone mad. Hence, you know, Mad Max. So there you go. Again, as a fan film, I thought, I mean, I had a better time with this than Furiosa. Number one, it was shorter. Number two, I liked Max here more than Furio the Furiosa in that movie. Uh, the villains felt like villains. They didn't feel like a goof. Like Chris Hemsworth, I thought was a goof with his butt teeth and his triple H nose and his teddy bear. And I, the guy meant well, but the guy was there was a when I reviewed Furiosa, he was saying, "Well, it's a post-apocalyptic movie. Most of these villains are stupid and goofy." And I did, the guy meant well, but I'm like, really? Not the ones I've seen. Because I don't think Vernon Wells was goofy or silly in The Road Warrior. Even uh, Isaac Hayes in Escape from New York, or even the villain in Steel Dong with Patrick Swayze, or, uh, you know, I don't think those villains were goofy or silly, or... Even Tina Turner didn't seem as goofy as Chris Hemsworth. But, I mean, that's just me and the way I look at it. So, and I like the costumes on the buzzers, I like the masks that they wore, especially the more heavy-duty ones. And it does take place in the Fear Road because the very first people he meets, I forget what those guys are called, where they're all in white and they put the black on their face. Uh, those are the first people he meets and fights and kills when he it ultimately saves the, the lady, Hope. But yeah, just the way it was just... good looking for a low budget I mean I'm more like if you have a 200 million dollar movie it should look good if you have a low low budget and you make it look really good that to me is so much more impressive so, so much more to tip my hat to tip my hat to if I could talk and that's much more endearing to me because it showed that these people really cared they put their heart and soul into it and I salute them. I mean, they'll never see this video, but if somehow one of them did, I salute them for doing it. Although, again, I wish the, the squib, there were blood squibs for the shotguns hits. I do wish bats used the chainsaw. There's little moments here that I wish they did more of, but as is, I think if you like Bad Max, if you're itching for something... Again, I'm one of the few that did not like Furiosa. A lot of people did. 
But I definitely think it's, it's worth a look. I didn't just like the way it's shot and the way they did with the camera work and just the good looking uh, scope. It felt bigger than I'm sure its budget dictated. And it was ambitious. And again, while the plot was very simple, the acting, especially that beef beef guy, I don't know what he's was. Sometimes the acting wasn't the best. But overall, the effort is there on screen and really appreciate what they were able to accomplish. So, good job to that. Thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.